So, oh, lovely. I can see you now. Uh, okay. So let me introduce you first. Yeah. Very, very warm welcome, Dr. Disha. Thank uh, you very much. Dr. Disha comes from Ahmedabad, India. Yeah. Doctor is a very senior pain management consultant from Alayam Rehab Care. Well done. So today she's with us. She has kindly joined us and accepted my invitation in a very, very short notice. So I'm very pleased and thank you for coming. So my pleasure, ma'am. Yeah, she's going to explain us the posture awareness, anorhythmic advice for a joint muscular pain and sleeping habits and importance of supplements and very, very good topic because yesterday we covered our stretches, exercise with all these things. Even today, some of them I covered and left the rest for you to explain to us. And then thereafter, we will have a short uh, question answer. So everyone, please listen. My humble request to you all, please make your question short to the point so others can get chance. So over to Disha, Dr. Disha. Thank you so much. Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. And I will put you now on a bigger screen. Yeah. So I shall come out and listen to you. Welcome, doctor. Thank you. Saraji is our admin. So today she is helping us, one of our admins. So over to you now. Okay. Good morning, beautiful ladies. So good morning. Today we are going to uh, uh, convey. I'm going to convey some important information regarding posture awareness, some ergonomic advices regarding your knee and back pain. Uh, if you have any queries in between, you can uh, ask me, or uh, please reserve your questions for our question answer uh, to topics. Uh, it will last for uh, 45 minutes about. So uh, we'll, uh, in last, we'll continue with your question and answer. You can also write me to the chat box. You, uh, so all of can read your question. So uh, uh, first of all, we'll start with posture. So what is the posture? The posture is a, pos a position or attitude of our body. Whenever we are standing or sitting, uh, our posture, our body is aligned in which way? That is called posture. Whenever you go uh, go to some place or whenever you are walking or whenever you are slipping or sitting, uh, everybody can observe your posture, in which posture you are. Is, this, is it a good posture or a bad posture? So posture is very important. Uh, so next, as we can see, uh, uh, after pandemic, uh, all of us are going through this. Ki, uh, my husband is suffering from this, this, this pain. My son or my daughter is suffering from this pain. Because after pandemic, we all are working like this. So you can see the numbers after uh, working in this position. Um, the maximum number is 63 percent. We are having low back pain patients. Uh, suffering from ba low back pain because of their sedentary lifestyle, because of their working pattern on the desk. So uh, next is 53% uh, is neck pain. So uh, many of our people suffering from neck pain due to your poor posture. So uh, you can see all these numbers. So how to avoid this posture? Uh, see, these are some different postures. If you are carrying a baby, you are shooting something or watching something, you are thinking, uh, just uh, you are standing in some queue, you are carrying a backpack, or you are cooking in the kitchen. So, uh, see, all of you are standing there, uh, just like this. So, we are not in a good posture. Some of us are having sway back, some of us are just leaning forward. So, this is not a good posture. So all of you just need to uh, keep in mind, these all are kind of bad portions, which we are not aware about. Okay, this is our bad portion. You need to correct this. Uh, then this slide, you can see what is good portion, what is poor portion. 
there are two type of poor postures in which one is your, uh, your lordotic curve your lumbar spine your lordotic curve is very much increased due to your uh, weak abdominal muscles you are having rounded shoulders you are having forward neck so this is a bad posture this is the biggest sign of your bad posture that you are having a forward neck or rounded shoulders uh, as Nina ma'am has explained so many things uh, uh, regarding this neck pain and your thoracic and uh, cervical spine in uh, in her session. So you will connect with this uh, very easily. So you are not allowed to stand like this if you are having a flat back or increased lordosis. So this is a high time people. Just be aware about your posture and connect to a nearby physiotherapist who can help you to treat this okay so uh, you can see in the good posture you are having a balanced upright posture your cervical your thoracic and your lumbar spine is in a correct upright position your line of gravity your weight bearing line is passing through uh, straight from all the joints your muscles are very much relaxed your shoulders are relaxed your neck is relaxed your knees are lined up your foot are corrected in inverted position so this is a good posture to have a beautiful uh, balanced or pain free life you need to uh, you need to attain good portion in each and every position whatever you are doing you're standing or you're walking or you're sitting this is the main thing you have to correct it am i audible right yes yes you are yeah okay so, uh, what are the benefits of your correct standing posture? If you are uh, standing correctly, we are having this type of tables and, uh, right now in our offices to be like uh, sometime you are standing or sometime you are sitting to do your desk job. So, this is a very nice idea. So, your shoulders, if you are standing upright, your shoulders are so much relaxed, your back is so much straight, your pelvis is in neutral alignment. So, your pelvic muscles are not... Uh, in any order or in any strain it is very much relaxed circulation in the legs your veins and nerves are open up so your circulation is going very well your hip knee and ankle joints are very much aligned in line of gravity so this is the benefits of your uh, good posture if you are in a good posture your weight bearing line will be very smooth so there are less chances of osteoarthritis of hip or knee or you have uh, you might not have low back pain or middle back pain or trapezitis or neck pain uh, so correct posture is the most important uh, in my, uh, if you all are ladies so we are uh, cooking in a kitchen and we are standing for hours and hours we have that tendency just finish all the work together then we will take rest so this is not a good idea okay uh, in some of uh, our countries we, i have seen that you are preparing your lunch and dinner together so this is not a good idea you are standing for long and long period you uh, i would suggest not stand more than 10 minutes in a single position not only about standing if you are sitting more than 10 minutes then you it's an alarm clock you should stand for a few minutes if you are standing for 10 minutes then you should uh, be seated for two minutes or you should walk for a few minutes okay so if you are standing for a few longer hours in your job uh, in out of india i have seen many of you are doing uh, standing jobs so if you are standing for more than uh, uh, one hour or half an hour you should use this kind of stepper okay or a stool in which you should uh, uh, lie down one leg on that uh, couch so you uh, you are relaxing your one leg for a few minutes after 10 minutes you can switch your other leg onto that stool so you you are relaxing your body okay so one of your leg is relaxed and one is bearing your total weight so uh, doing this you can uh, relax your back muscles your knee muscles your hip muscles it will help you okay so whoever is uh, doing the standing jobs in wherever you're in shops or in kitchen you should attend this kind of portion next uh, if you are sitting for uh, more than half an hour you should watch your posture what is like 
uh, in middle the man is uh, sitting like this in forward uh, bank position i have seen many people who is like sitting in this position only 80 percent are sitting in this kind of position only if they are doing some desk job uh, uh, if you see kids uh, they are uh, doing their homework or playing video game or uh, some uh, older people who are uh, just reading newspaper they will lie down like this so this is not a good posture uh, you should uh, you should uh, take care about your children also so ask them to be in a good posture what are the importance of a good posture your line of gravity will change in this only so uh, swaying back like this is not a good idea power band is not a good idea you should be in 90 90 position okay so your back and shoulder are aligned your hip and knee are aligned and your hip and knee and ankle are aligned in a 90 90 degree position so this is the best idea so if you uh, your husband's or your son and daughter is working in white collar job or sitting desk job uh, you should advise them to uh, arrange some stool or something like the, this so you should uh, there your hip and knee and ankle should be aligned in 90 90 degree position this will help your lower back lower core muscles to be relaxed okay all the time if your fits are on the uh, on the car on the floor then there, uh, there will be uh, many times there will be tired uh, you feel like oh i'm uh, suffering from low back pain after sitting this much long your muscles not not strong enough to uh, hold this type of strain after 15 to 20 minutes you will feel like i need to stand for a few minutes i need a walk i'm feeling tired so if you are using this kind of stool then there will be no this type of muscles your muscles will be very much relaxed you uh, you must have seen your kids uh, sitting like this i have seen many uh, so they are using their uh, they are more or most of the time time they are busy with screen they are using either a mobile phone either ipad or watching tv they uh, lay down like this only because they are not uh, having uh, uh, enough strong core muscles they feel like lying down uh, because of our core muscles have to work against gravity gravity is pulling us and our muscles should be strong enough to be upright so their muscles are not strong enough so they all all time they are feeling like i need to rest i need to lie down so this is a problem uh, this is a high time you should mark this uh, positions if your kids are uh, having this kind of problems so you should go uh, for some consultant or you should uh, guide them to be exercising or you doing some yoga or stretches or walking so some kind of exercises should be in their life so they can attain good posture they can have uh, strong core muscles so they can attain good posture uh, this is a very uh, common problem in ladies also so you are not using a headphone or you are not using an, uh, a speaker phone and if you are working on something like desk job or you are cooking in a kitchen and you are uh, just uh, um, chit chat with your friend or you are busy with your friend and you won't realize i'm uh, uh, i'm this position from since 30 minutes or 40 minutes so you spend so many time like this then your neck muscles uh, will be in a great strain okay so ladies you cannot use this kind of uh, position uh, if you have phone zyada hi zyada use karna hai to aap jaise usko stand pe dal dijiye you should uh, uh, just keep it in a, on a speaker or just plugging your headphone so this is a good idea to attain a good neck posture so uh, uh, on uh, not only about housewives who are working as a secretary or telecaller job uh, this is for them also they are using phone like this and doing some other work uh, simultaneously and they will suffer from neck pain in very, in very early age just because they are not attaining good posture so next is what is ergonomics ergonomics is like some do's and don'ts about your uh, general knee and back pain uh, i would uh, uh, say something about knee and back pain so ergonomic advice that do's and don'ts you must follow that do's and don'ts to avoid your joint muscular pain so uh, i would uh, here i would suggest some lifting postures 
if what is the correct posture and what is the incorrect posture if you are going to lift some heavy weight then this is the bad posture the first one is the very bad posture because our center of mass is concentrated on l4 and l5 lumbar vertebrae if you are just forwarding back and lifting heavy weight then there are chances of slip disc there are chances of nerve compression there are chances of pulling of your muscles there are chances of just paraspinal muscle spasm so all this kind of uh, bad posture can lead to a severe back pain okay so this is not a right posture just uh, lie down just kneel down ghutne se mud jana hai aur aapko apni back straight rakhni hai just keep your back straight then lift your weight if bahut zyada heavy weight hai to you can use a stool just uh, kneel down aapne weight uthaya stool pe rakh diya fir thode upar uth gaye fir stool se utha ke aur upar rakh diya so this is the best idea uh, in india now it's diwali time so all the ladies are doing diwali work and they are lifting something and something and they will suffer from knee pain back pain uh, and they will come like uh, diwali ka kaam karte hue ye jhark aa gaya muscle pull ho gaya okay uh, this is for uh, bed sheet uh, if you are uh, go, uh, doing your bed and if you are just uh, doing like this forward bending uh, if you are dusting and you are doing uh, forward bending then there are chances of muscle pull so ladies ye nahi karna hai aapko to just kneel down ओके okay, बैठ जाइए फिर आराम से उसको उठा के दूसरे के हाथ में दे सकते हो या तो कहीं स्टूल पे रख सकते हो ओके सो डू दैट ओनली सो दिस इज द राइट वे टू लिफ्ट एनी टाइप ऑफ वेट ओके तो आपके लंबर पे जोर नहीं आना चाहिए सो so, जो बैक पेन वो लंबर वाला इश्यू हो गया तो इट इज गोइंग टू लास्ट फॉर एवर तीन चार महीने तक आप बहुत ज्यादा पेन सफर करोगे और फिर लाइफ टाइम ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा कि अभी थोड़ा सा भी इश्यू हुआ तो डिस्क विल बल्ज uh more more and more so this is the uh, main thing just uh, keep in mind uh, while lifting any kind of weight just kneel down so this is the right posture to lift any kind of weight as i have said earlier sitting posture uh, sitting posture you should be upright your shoulders should be aligned your neck should be straight uh, what is the straight neck if you are pulling someone from behind and if you are feeling uh, jaise aap apne aap ko abhi piche kijiye aapko aise lage ki is point ke baad abhi main zyada piche hui na to main gir jaungi okay so that is the correct posture okay so that is the correct posture of your neck hum zyada se zyada forward bend hi rakhte hain apne aap ko jaise aise aur hame lagta hai we are in a upright position so that is not the correct posture you should be like this all all the time सब कई लोगों को ऐसा लगेगा कि कितने सालों से ऐसे ही बैठ रहे ऐसे कैसे हो जाए अचानक से सो इट्स नॉट डेट इजी लेकिन वी वी कैन डू समथिंग फॉर दिस जस्ट कीप इन माइंड जब कॉन्शियस लेवल पे आपको एफर्ट्स लगाने हैं एवरी हाफ एन आवर इफ यू आर जस्ट रिमेम्बरिंग की आई हैव टू करेक्ट माई पोस्टर जेन जस्ट कीप इट लाइक दिस होल्ड इट फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड्स टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स देन बी रिलैक्सड okay again half an hour just remind yourself i have to be in a good posture then be in a good posture hold it for 30 to 30 60 seconds and then relax okay so after doing this practice this will help to improve your posture your core muscles you should simultaneously work on your uh, core muscles to get strengthened uh, you can uh, get help from any of um, any of physiotherapist or any other medical professionals uh if you have heard something uh, already if your shoulder is paining after a jerk or you are throwing something and your uh, shoulder got uh, hurt or uh, after slipping last night i just woke up and my shoulder was in pain if you feel like anything like this so what is your correct slipping position after that सो so, uh, अगर आपके शोल्डर में ऑलरेडी पेन है तो आपको वो शोल्डर नीचे आए वैसे करवट पे नहीं सो सकते यू कैन नॉट लाई ऑन लाई डाउन ऑन दैट साइड सो ऑलवेज जो शोल्डर uh, या जो भी जॉइंट पेन में है वो ऊपर रहेगा नॉन वेट बैरिंग पोजीशन में रहेगा अगर okay? uh, इस पोजीशन में आप देख रहे हो कि दो घुटनों के बीच में आई हैव प्लेस्ड पिलर बिटवीन टू नीज सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड पोर्शन फॉर नी पेन ऑल्सो Uh, after certain age, like 70s around, your knees got hypersensitive. 
if there is swelling uh, you will not be able to handle the weight of another leg okay some will feel like i am having burning pain around my knees after lying down for so long so this is due to their uh, swelling and due to their hypersensitive skin so this is a good idea place one pillow uh, around uh, in between your knees and lie down on one side so this is the best posture to be pain free if you are suffering from any kind of neck or shoulder pain it should be on uh, opposite side okay if you are suffering from a back pain and if you feel like your yeah, normal uh, lumbar lordosis matlab in jaise ki aapke lumbar ka jo curve normal hona chahiye usse wo kam ho gaya jaise flat back you are suffering from a flat back then while lying down you should place a towel roll or bed sheet roll into your lumbar or mid thoracic area this will help to improve your posture this will help to reduce your pain this will help to relax your muscles so this is a very good idea if you are suffering from low back pain uh, but mind well if you are having already increased lordosis then this is not a good idea this is a uh, this is just to support your curve to maintain that curve so if you are suffering from low back pain and you if you are having a flat back or normal curve then this would help this will help to control your normal curve okay so lying down straight you can also bend your knees while doing this so this will help to control your lower back pain if you are suffering from osteoarthritis of knee or lower back pain this is a very good posture to attend uh, if you are uh, uh, if you are uh, easily lie, lie down straight only you are not a good user of side lying position so uh, while straight li lying straight you should use one pillow and then knee this will help to relax your knee muscles and also simultaneously this will help to reduce the stress on your lower core muscles your hand should be on your tummy or a uh, side of the bed this is okay you should use normal pillow and your, the pillow under the knee should uh, your height should be like this only not the, too much high that your knees are going into so much bending okay it can be bend knees can be bended up to 20 30 degree only not more than that okay so this is a very good posture or position to lie down if you are suffering from osteoarthritis of knee or lower back pain so uh, what are the remedies or what is the rice principle when you are suffering from some acute kind of pain uh, in out of india i have seen that this it's not easy to connect with a doctor if you uh, uh, found something just i got some jerk i got my ankle twisted i got my, some uh, cervical pain after lying down at the night if you are suffering from this kind of small small jerks and spasm then this is the right way to treat that part at home only you won't need any medical guidance in this Uh, just follow this rule and you will get uh, 40 to 50 percent relief instantly trust my words uh, so r stands for rest rest means ki jo bhi part mein aapko jerk laga hai ki i got my knee jaise main chal rahi thi maine sudden turn kar liya main kitchen mein khade hue kuch khana khana paka rahi thi kisi ne bulaya aur aapne sudden turn kiya aur knee mein jerk aa gaya आप जब स्टेप डाउन वेल स्टेपिंग डाउन माय एंकल गॉट ट्विस्टेड मैं सो के उठी तो मेरे नेक में आई गॉट सम जर्क इन द नेक एंड आई एम नॉट एबल टू मूव माय नेक सो दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्यूट इंजरीज जो रिसेंट इंजरीज है उसको 48 एट आवर का रेस्ट देना है इफ यू गॉट एनी पेन इन नी और एंकल सो स्टॉप वेट बेरिंग एक्सरसाइजेज और वेयरिंग वेट वाइल वॉकिंग ऑफ स्टैंडिंग अवॉइड दैट मूवमेंट सो गिव फोर्टी एट आवर्स रेस्ट टू दैट पार्ट सो देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ बॉडी हिलिंग मेकेजम बॉडी एनी क्वेश्चन okay so you need to give 48 hours rest to that part so body will naturally heal our cell there there is one mechanism self healing mechanism in which the good cells are generating atp production hota hai uske baad new cells generate hote hi rehte hain to aapko kya karna hai body ko rest dena hai ki wo reproductive system fast kaam kare 
और रीजनरेशन सेल्स का जल्दी हो जाए तो स्वेलिंग कम हो जाए स्वेलिंग कम करने के लिए दिस इज द राइट वे जस्ट गिव रेस्ट टू दैट पार्ट so this is a burning question ladies uh, uh, many of our patients come with like uh, we don't have any clear idea when to apply cold pack and when to apply hot pack so i'll tell you uh, when to apply cold pack and when to apply hot pack if you are suffering from any acute injuries i got jerk or i uh, got something uh, uh, i met with an accident recently to aapko jo bhi muscle spasm aaya recent wala to apply cold pack only uh once you can check on uh, on your own also ki if you are hurting your knee or uh, back you should just apply some pressure with your thumb uh just check karna hai thoda daba ke if you it's painy then there is internal swelling is there it's not visible ki visible swelling upar nahi hai so it's not about uh, visible swelling hi hogi internal swelling could be there so if you are pressing that part and it's hurting then there is swelling so apply cold pack only and if you there is no pain on palpation dabane se koi dard nahi hai but uh, there is some stiffness like ab morning mein uthe aur stiff lag rahi hai sirf back there is only stiffness jhakde nahi lag rahi hai there is no pain at all then go for hot pack okay so if there is any pain on uh, palpation or any kind of pain aise hi jaise aapko chalne se aur resting mein pain aa raha hai to there is naturally visible swelling so there is if there is swelling then go for cold pack and if there is only stiffness go for hot pack i'll tell you why because if there is swelling so there is uh, the vessels undergoing that muscles are already enlarged okay so if you are going if you are going for hot pack then uh, wo usko zyada enlarge karega to swelling badh jayegi ultimately uh, what happens like hum jab hot pack lagate hain na to hame bahut acha lagta hai we feel like wow i'm feeling very much better but wo ultimately aapki swelling badhata hai and we are, when we apply cold pack to wo immediately aapko itna acha nahi lagta hai wo sensation is not good for us but wo cold pack kya karta hai jo vessels already dilated hai usko constrict karega okay so swelling will get reduced by the time so uh, applying ice pack is the best idea okay 90% case mein uh, you should go for cold pack only एंड इन uh, uh, मैंने बोला जैसे कि सिर्फ स्टिफनेस है इफ यू आर इफ यू आर हैविंग फ्रोजन शोल्डर ओनली स्टिफनेस इज देर देर इज नो पेन देन गो फॉर हॉट पैक इफ यू आर हैविंग स्टिफ बैक देन गो फॉर हॉट पैक अदरवाइज गो फॉर आइस पैक ओनली अभी आइस पैक हाउ टू अप्लाई आइस पैक इफ यू आर हैविंग पेन इन नी ऑफ बैक एनर थिंग जस्ट अप्लाई आइस पैक उसको आप बेल से टाई कर सकते हो यू कैन टाई कॉटन दुपट्टा और एनीथिंग एल्स so uh, keep it there for at least 10 to 15 minutes you should not rub that ice okay if you are rubbing it constantly then only and only skin will get cold and uh, the effect that uh, should be done to deeper level to the muscles then it will be not done okay so apply at least 10 to 15 minutes at one place then and then only shift to the other place okay so this is the best way to get treated at home apply ice pack and uh, how to apply ice pack on back this is a very common uh, error which are uh, our pa patients are doing they are just uh, putting one ice pack on a uh, on a bed and they are lying down on a ice pack so that's a uh, worst position you are doing it so usse kya hoga aap kuch thanda touch karte ho na to your muscles get contracted okay if you are lying down on a ice pack the muscles uh, will get contracted and it will go on uh, relax okay so मसल्स को हम रिलैक्स करने के लिए आइस पैक कर रहे हैं उसको ज्यादा पेन नहीं करना है हमें तो व्हाट इज द बेस्ट पोजीशन जस्ट लाई डाउन ऑन योर स्टमक उल्टा लेटना है और ऊपर से आइस पैक रखना है ओके okay? तो दिस इज द बेस्ट वे सो कभी भी आपको बैक पेन हो रहा है तो आप उल्टा लेटिए किसी को बोलिए पीछे से आइस पैक लगाए आइस पैक के ऊपर नहीं लेटना है आपको ओके एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो लास्ट फॉर टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एंड यूज दैट स्टिफ वन आइस पैक्स वो सॉफ्ट वाले जल्दी गर्म हो जाते हैं तो उससे कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा सो यू कैन अप्लाई डायरेक्ट आइस ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज आइस पैक्स ऑल्सो सो नेक्स्ट इज कंप्रेशन राइस प्रिंसिपल में आर स्टैंड फॉर रेस्ट आई स्टैंड फॉर आइस पैक एंड सी स्टैंड फॉर कंप्रेशन 
जिस पार्ट में वेन एवर आई गॉट जर्क इन नी और एंकल जिस पार्ट में आपको इंजरी हुई है उस पार्ट को आपको कंप्रेशन देना है हाउ कैन यू कंप्रेस दैट पार्ट सो इफ यू आर हैविंग पेन इन नी यू कैन अप्लाई दिस काइंड ऑफ नी कैप इफ यू आर हर्टिंग योर बैक इफ योर बैक इज हर्टिंग देन यू कैन यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ लंबर सेक्रल सपोर्ट बेल्ट सो दिस इज सपोर्टिंग योर बैक and uh, if you are having a back pain i would suggest if you are having some uh, standing kind of job if you are having some kind of job in which you are, uh, you need to travel along or if you are having long time sitting jobs then you should use this type of belt okay traveling ma uh, this is must you should uh, wear a belt if you are suffering from back pain while traveling so any kind of jerk cannot was in your situation which is uh, current situation and in uh, if you are having ankle uh, ankle uh, jerk uh, sprain or ankle jerk then you should apply this kind of uh, pink uh, crab bandage so uh, your pressure should be normal it should be not hamper your circulation normal circulation otherwise your swelling will be increased a lot okay so there should be normal compression bandage should be tied all the time uh, all the time it should be uh, resting or if you are resting also then you should uh, just remove it otherwise if you are uh, bearing weight any kind of weight or you are uh, doing your routine then you should wear this type of bandage then last in the rise principle e stands for elevation elevation matlab upar rakha hai wo part ko so uh, what is the uh, progress uh, what is uh, what kind of effect we will got after the elevation if you are elevating any kind of part then vessels will be drained okay so gravity will pull your uh, fluid so swelling will get reduced by elevating any kind of uh, part if you are having issues in your hand say, then by the side use one pillow and just elevate your hand okay elevate any kind of part if you are suffering from uh, ankle pain then uh, you should elevate your uh, pa- elevate your ankle like this uh, knee mein bhi ye kaam aayega so jo uh, in knee ankle or hand if you are suffering from any kind of pain and swelling you should elevate that part to reduce swelling and to reduce pain so this is the major topic ladies just concentrate uh, i told you about good posture and bad posture so this is your weight bearing line uh, uh, if you are seeing the jo beech mein khada hai banda uski balanced line okay so his pelvic his hip his knee and his ankles are very much aligned so he would not suffer any kind of joint muscular pain in future also and uh, if you can see uh, if your knees are bending inwards or outwards your uh, legs are going in a zero position okay aap kisi ke pair aise mud rahe hain kisi ke aise mud rahe hain so usme kya hoga jo weight bearing ki line hai na wo altered ho jayegi सो so, जो पैलोई के आप देख रहे हो ड्रॉप हो रहा है घुटने में अंदर की तरफ ज्यादा जोर आ रहा है आपकी आर्च लो हो गई है सो दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम कैन अकर इफ यू आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम बैड पोस्टर सो लाइन ऑफ ग्रेविटी करेक्ट करना इज द मेन की आप देख रहे हो ये सारी रिंग्स जो आप कलर वाइज देख रहे हो तो अलाइन क्या क्या होना चाहिए योर सर्वाइकल स्पाइन शुड बी अलाइन विथ योर थोरेसिक स्पाइन योर थोरेसिक स्पाइन शुड बी अलाइन विथ योर लोअर कोर लोअर बैक लोअर बैक विथ हिप्स हिप्स से नी में नी से एंकल में ये सब अलाइन होनी चाहिए चीजें इफ यू आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम एनी काइंड ऑफ पेन जस्ट वॉच योर सेल्फ इन टू द फुल मिरर कि मेरी बॉडी कैसी है ओके आप अलाइन हो कि नहीं जस्ट एक्सपोज दैट पार्ट एंड जस्ट वॉच इट आपकी दोनों हिप्स लाइन में है कि नहीं दोनों घुटने सीधे है कि नहीं ओके सो वॉच इट लाइक दैट this is a balanced posture and imbalanced posture in imbalanced posture i have seen many patients if they are suffering from knee pain they would walk like this ki ek pair pe wazan dala fir jhuk gaye us taraf fir dusra pair rakha aapne bhi dekhe honge waddling gait jo chalte hain aise aise chalte hain ek baaju jhuk ke chalte hain why they are doing like this because his uh, his or her knee is rotated inter- anteriorly ab dekhoge ki ghutna andar ki taraf mud gaya pelvic drop ho gaya us taraf okay your pelvic is drop that side your knee is internally rotated and main issue is your arch is uh, arch is very low your arch is prolapsed so that is the main culprit of your posture aapka ghutna kyu ghis gaya because your arch was low 
सो दैट्स अ मेन कल्प्रेट जो हम नहीं माइंड करते हैं हम क्या ट्रीटमेंट करेंगे हम घुटने में पेन हुआ है तो घुटने को ही ठीक करते रहेंगे ठीक करते रहेंगे हम बैक तक जाएंगे लेकिन हम कभी भी एंकल और हमारे फुट के सोल की तरफ ध्यान नहीं देते हैं कि मेन इश्यू वॉज इन द सोल योर सोल वॉज नॉट बियरिंग प्रॉपर वे दैट्स वाई योर लेग वॉज टर्निंग इन टू लाइक दिस एंड योर नी गॉट रोटेटेड एंड योर पेल्विक ड्रॉप्ट ओके सो दैट इज द मेन इश्यू and if you are see if you can see the balanced one uh, he or she must be having very good posture pelvic align knee align and there is no issue in the sole so this is the foot drop or uh, low prolapsed arch in which we can see uh, from posturally you can uh, ask someone to take a photograph फ्रॉम पोशी यू कैन चेक योर एंगल कि मेरा एंगल कैसा है मेरा पैर सीधे पड़ रहे हैं कि ऐसे टेढ़े ही पड़ रहे हैं है ना सो दिस इज द मेन कल्प्रेट ऑफ ऑस्ट्रियो आर्थराइटिस ऑफ नी सो ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज प्रैक्टिस दिस एट होम आप सीधे खड़े रहो और किसी को बोलो पीछे से एक पिक्चर क्लिक करके आपको दिखाए कि आपका आज प्रोलेप्स हो रहा है, है ना सो so, उसमें आपको देखने आएगा कि ये आज प्रोलेप्स हुई इसके कारण ऊपर घुटनों का शेप बिगड़ रहा है मेरा और वेट बेरिंग रॉन्ग हो रहा है और मेरे घुटने घिस रहे हैं ओके सो ये प्रैक्टिस सबको घर में करनी है कि वॉच योर आर्च आपकी आर्च कैसी है सो दिस इज अर्च टाइप जो आप बीच में देख रहे हो दैट इज नॉर्मल आर्च जिसमें आपका फुट प्रिंट देख रहे हो ना दैट इज योर वेट बेरिंग योर बेयरिंग वेट इक्वली कैन यू सी your bearing weight very equally and your are uh, your uh, legs are aligned posteriorly aap piche se dekho the legs very much aligned hai aap dekho ki low arch jaise aapki arch low ho gayi hai to aapka pair pura aise vazan le raha hai aur aapke piche se pair dekhoge to pure mud gaye if you are suffering from high arch then aap dekh sakte ho ki weight bearing proper nahi ho raha hai okay so usme bhi issues aayenge so uh, uh, if uh, uh, if you see this kind of issues in yourself then uh, this is the high time you should treat your foot your soles first of all to avoid any kind of circumstances or any issues of knee or back pain in future so this is one machine in which you can scan your uh, uh, foot uh, so they will tell ki ye low arch hai high arch hai we are having at uh, this kind of machine at our centers so this is a solution these are customized in sole so aapka pair jahan se wazan kam le raha hai zyada le raha hai us hisab se isko mold kiya jata hai isko shape diya jata hai you should insert in this in your shoes and you should wait uh, you should uh, wear this throughout your day when you are on your foot this should be there in your foot so to avoid or to just correct that bad posture of your ankles next is mattress what kind of mattress you should use while sleeping okay many of uh, you guys are having this kind of issues ki kaun si type ki mattresses hame use karni chahiye so we are uh, just uh, every day we spend 8 to 10 hours uh, on a bed but we are not investing that kind of money on mattresses i have seen in india i don't know about uk but in india we are spending like nothing uh, on mattresses you are using mattresses like more than 15 years so this is not a good idea okay you are lying down for uh, every day 7 to 8 hours on a mattress and you are not investing enough money on a mattress so this is not a good idea so you should change your mattress at least every 7 to 8 years maximum what kind of pillow you should use while sleeping so this kind of pillows you can see जो नॉर्मल आप पिलो यूज कर रहे हो उसमें आपको देखना है पिलो में आपका सर्वाइकल स्पाइन शुड बी अलाइन ओके योर पिलो शुड नॉट बी दैट मच लो डेंसिटी सो योर सर्वाइकल स्पाइन विल गेट टिल्टेड इफ यू आर यूजिंग अ हाई पिलो और डबल पिलो देन योर सर्वाइकल स्पाइन विल बी टिल्टेड टू द अपोजिट साइड देन अपोजिट साइड सर्वाइकल और नेक मसल्स विल गॉट हर्ट सो यू शुड यूज अ फॉर्म नॉर्मल पिलो Uh, in uh, which height your ear and shoulder should be aligned okay itni thickness ka use karna hai ki aapki cervical spine stable rahe agar aap ek karvat pe sone ki aapko aadat hai to if you are uh, uh, if you are having habit of uh, sleeping straight mm -hmm. only then you should use a normal firm pillow uh, normal thickness 
जो थोड़ी कम होगी तो उसमें चलेगा लेकिन आपको एक करवट पे सोने की आदत है तो आपको थोड़ा बड़ा पिलो यूज करना होगा जिससे सर्वाइकल स्पाइन न्यूट्रल पोजिशन में रहे नॉर्मल रहे नहीं ज्यादा नीचे जाए नहीं ज्यादा ऊपर जाए सो दिस इज अमल पिलो यू शुड यूज वाइल स्लिपिंग योर मेटर शुड बी लाइक दैट दैट योर सर्वाइकल स्पाइन योर थोरेसिक एंड योर लंबर स्पाइन शुड गेट वेरी स्ट्रेट इट शुड नॉट बी टू सॉफ्ट और टू हार्ड ओके इट शुड बी फर्म इनफ that uh, so your if you are slipping your spine is relaxing okay not going deep or not just uh, uh, hanging upar upar zyada lag nahi raha hai jaise mattress aapko lag rahi hai stress bad raha hai muscles mein aisa kuch nahi hona chahiye okay so this is your slipping habits a b c d mostly so i will uh, say d is the worst thing you should avoid if you are uh, slipping in a d type of posture ओके सी इज नाइस मोस्टली मैंने देखा है सब बी और डी में ही सोते हैं है ना सो बी और डी अवॉइड करना है हमें सी इज द राइट पोस्टर और मैंने जैसे आगे दिखाया आप एक करवट पे वैसे सो सकते हो आपके शोल्डर्स अलाइंड है आपके दोनों घुटनों के बीच में पीलो है तो वैसे आप सो सकते हो लेकिन ये जो पोस्टर है आपको अवॉइड करने और सी इज फाइन so uh, this is from my side uh, 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 if uh, you have any questions please ask me uh, arti chandan has a question if the heel is paining and inside is burning what is the cause and what shall i do okay if your heel is paining that might be a heel spur your bone is growing देर आर चांसेस कि आपको कुछ झरक लग रहा है उसके कारण भी पेन हुआ है तो बोन ग्रो नहीं हुआ है तो आपको उसके लिए एक एक्सरे निकलवाना पड़ेगा एक्सरे से हम जज कर सकते हैं कि हील स्पाइक इज देर और नॉट एंड अगर हील स्पाइक नहीं है और आपको एक्सरे नहीं करवाना है तो उसके लिए आपको कॉन्ट्रेस्ट बात आप कर सकते हो वॉट शुड यू डू जस्ट टेक सम आइस क्यूब एंड सम कोल्ड वॉटर इन वन वेसल एंड गिव टेक सम हॉट वॉटर जस्ट डीप योर हिल इन टू कोल्ड वॉटर फॉर थ्री मिनट्स एंड शिफ्ट इड टू दॉट वॉटर फॉर टू मिनट्स यू शुड रिपीट इट ट्वाइज अ डे और यू शुड डू इट फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टोटल so this is the right way or you should uh, use soft uh, thick uh, sleepers okay whenever you are just walking or jab aap bed se utarte ho aapke pair mein chappal honi honi chahiye you should not walk barefoot at all okay because you are having swelling in plantar fascia if aap barefoot hard surface pe chaloge it will get hurt okay so this is the thing you can uh, do at home और दूसरे की प्रिया बहन का भी क्वेश्चन है कि माय हिल इज पेनिंग व्हाट कैन आई डू सो ये एक चीज कर सकते हो और जब भी आप उठते हो तब ज्यादा पेन हो रहा है अगर आपको कि जब आप आराम करके दोपहर को या सुबह उठ रहे हो तो जस्ट डू वन थिंग वॉल के सामने जाओ दिस इज योर वॉल और आपका ये फुट है उसको ऐसे प्लेस करना है जस्ट स्ट्रेच इट लाइक दिस आपके फुट को ऐसे स्ट्रेच करना है तो क्या होगा जो फुट की प्लांटर फेशिया है ना वो खींचेगी यू कैन स्ट्रेच इट लाइक दिस Hold it for 10 to 30 seconds. Okay, then uh, relax it. Repeat it for three times. Just hold it like this. Repeat it for three times. So it will get easily corrected. And another thing you can do, uh, just lie down on your stomach. Ulta late na hai. Or kisi ko bolna hai ki heel or piche ke panje mein, pura sole pe. Aapko knuckles se massage karna hai. Ye pura sole hai. Usko thoda deep massage dena hai. do like this before i speak okay so any kind of pain uh, is increasing by this massage can be subsided with ice so do it before i speak 100% do it before i speak only okay uh, uh, some saroj ma'am has uh, having question like doctor i have developed drop foot after total hip replacement due to damage of my sciatic now under my knee so leg from there it is numb and till my toes anything you can suggest uh, okay uh, your problem is somewhat serious usme main ghar pe ek batane ke liye kuch mujhe uh, i doubt aapko ek bar correctly hame check karna padega because your problem is somewhat serious your uh, nerve is damaged if you are having drop foot you can Uh, you can use some kind of splints. आपको ऑर्थोप्रोस्टो डॉक्टर के पास जाना पड़ेगा और आपको स्प्लिंस बनानी पड़ेगी विच कैन लिफ्ट योर एंकल ओके सो आई है 
ओके और उसके बाद अगर आपकी आपकी नाव की पूरी जांच हो गई है जैसे ईएमजी एनसीबी की अभी उससे जांच हाँ उस एनसीबी में इट इस कंडक्टेड दैट द नाव इज ऑलरेडी डैमेज नथिंग कैन बी डन इट्स इट्स नॉट चेंजिंग एट ऑल फॉर द पास्ट वन एंड हाफ इयर्स ओके बट इट्स बेटर देन द टू इयर्स बिफोर व्हेन इट हैपन Okay, so, so I, I would suggest this, hmm. you can uh, you can go for some online sessions. We will suggest some weight bearing exercises which can pre- you you can practice at home only. Okay, okay. So, so how uh, can I contact you? Uh, I'll tell you in a while. Okay, okay? thank you, uh, thank you. Okay, uh, Saraj, uh, I think I would request everybody to contact me to get the number for uh, our doctor. Yes, yeah, sure. मैं अगली स्लाइड में आपको दिखाऊंगी कैसे कांटेक्ट करना है ओके या सम पामू मैम इज हैविंग ग्लूट मसल एकिंग व्हाट्स द रेमेडी ओके आपको मैंने जैसे बताया आपको जस्ट स्लाइड ऑन ऑन योर स्टमक आपको आइस पैक रखना है उसके बाद आपको हल्के हाथ से जैसे फोर फिंगर्स यू कैन यूज योर फोर फिंगर्स जस्ट फोर फिंगर से थोड़ा डीप मसाज देना है उसको ओके okay. और आपको व्हेन यू आर सिटिंग यू शुड यूज योर कॉक्सिक पिलो और सम काइंड ऑफ सॉफ्ट पिलो ओके वाइल यू आर सिटिंग ऑन एनी हार्ड सरफेसेस ओके स्लो सिटिंग आपको अवॉइड करनी है और सम काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेचिंग आई वुड सजेस्ट कि आप uh, मैं आपको एक वीडियो साइन कर सकती हूँ अदरवाइज यू कैन कनेक्ट अस और हमको यहाँ से आपको ऑनलाइन हम सिखा सकते हैं कि वॉट काइंड ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेज यू कैन डू एट होम So, वो आपको करनी है दिस इज होम रेमेडी में मैं सिर्फ आपको सजेस्ट करूंगी कि ये आपको मसाज करना है हल्के हाथों से और डू आइस पैक और यूज कॉक्सक पिलो दिस इज द बेस्ट वे टू ट्रीट योर ग्रुट मसल एट होम ओके सो दिस इज आला एंड रीहेब केयर वी आर हैविंग 175 प्लस डॉक्टर्स विच ऑल आर ट्रेन इन काइनेशियोलॉजी वी आर ट्रीटिंग पेशेंट विथ काइनेटिक कंट्रोल एक्सरसाइज प्रोटोकॉल इज वेरी मच अपडेटेड Uh, uh if we are using e laser calmative that is our technology which is uh, which is uh, uh, patented and ce approved and we are having 93.7% results in any kind of joint muscular pain if you are suffering from head to toe any kind of pain so we are having 93.7% result and this is for you all guys uh, if you are uh, coming from out of india and you if you want to connect us uh, our head is dr dipen patel they will consult you directly so uh, for any inquiries any queries regarding your consultation your treatment you need to call on this number please uh, uh, please save this number that is 7624011040 okay uh, mr ravi will answer you and they will guide you how to consult dr dipen Uh, you, uh, i will suggest you to all uh, who are uh, contacting this number please drop a whatsapp message also if you miss by any kind so we can connect you uh, later on so drop a message on whatsapp on the same number uh, mr ravi will uh, guide you how to connect with dr dipen for consultation and for treatment any kind of queries can be uh, easily uh, resolved uh, while contacting this number Okay, uh, in Alam we have care. Uh, you can follow us on uh, Facebook and YouTube for more videos. We are already having one lakh sixty eight thousand followers uh, on uh, Facebook, and in total we are having around three lakhs followers. Uh, if you want to connect uh, about some uh, particular joint issues to uh, how to get treated at home then you can uh, youtube our channel alam rehab care you will find this kind of small small videos if you are suffering from hip joint pain or if you are having some tm joint pain or uh, if you are having some uh, back pain while uh, uh, while cooking or any type of knee pain or any posture related issues you can go through this channel so you can will get to know more information about this kind of topics so uh, meena ban has uh, asked like uh, she is suffering from tailbone pain uh, most um, most pain. so in tailbone pain you need to uh, use a donut pillow okay jaisa neck pillow aata hai na waisa hi donut pillow aata hai jisme tailbone pe weight bearing nahi hoga so uh, while sitting you need to use that tailbone uh, uh, tailbone uh, ke liye jo donut pillow aata hai wo use karna hai aur ice pack apply karna hai aur floor sitting avoid karni hai that is the best way 
आपको जैसे इन मैंने जैसे बोला अप्राइट पोस्टर करेक्ट कर, बैठना है वो आप नहीं कर सकते हो इफ यू आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम टेल बोन पेन यू नीड टू सिट लाइक दिस फॉरवर्ड बैंक फॉर सम पीरियड जैसे जैसे पेन कम होता है आपको धीरे धीरे पीछे टेल्ट होके बैठना है इट विल टेक लाइक वन मंथ ओके सो पहले आपको वेट बेरिंग अवॉइड करना है टेल बोन के ऊपर सो यू नीड टू बी सिटेड लाइक दिस इन फॉरवर्ड टू पोस्टर एंड धैन एंड धैन आफ्टर फ्यू डेज धीरे धीरे आपको सीधे सीधे बैठने की प्रैक्टिस करनी है और आपको हार्ड सर्फेस अवॉइड करना है फॉर फ्यू मंथ्स ओके लॉन्ग टाइम ट्रेवलिंग अवॉइड करनी है इफ यू आर ट्रेवलिंग आफ्टर टेन मिनट्स यू नीड टू गेट डाउन एंड जस्ट टेक अ टू मिनट्स वॉक एंड जस्ट देन सिट डाउन अगेन सो दैट्स द सोल्यूशन फॉर टेल बॉन पेन समवन हैव गॉट पैक सिस्ट बिहाइंड माई लेफ्ट नी इट कैन बी ट्रीटेड विथ हर ट्रीटमेंट यू नीड टू कनेक्ट विथ हर्स बैकअस इसके लिए मैं कोई होम रेमेडी सजेस्ट नहीं कर सकती हूँ इट्स अ बिग इश्यू सो आप कनेक्ट एक बार कर लीजिए उस नंबर पर मैंने जिसपे बोला है उसपे एनी थिंग एल्स मैम आई हैव कवर्ड फ्रॉम माई साइड सो यू हैव बीन अ ग्रेट ऑडियंस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग टू मी इफ यू लाइक माई दिस काइंड ऑफ अवेयरनेस एक्टिविटी इफ यू कैन सजेस्ट दैन वील कम लेटर ऑन विथ अनदर टॉपिक्स इफ यू विश सम काइंड ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेस और सम काइंड ऑफ अनदर एक्टिविटीज सो आई वॉज एन नोइंग दैट यू ऑल आर नोइंग दिस मैनी थिंग्स अबाउट दिस सो आई जस्ट केम विथ सम बेसिक अवेयरनेस पोस्टल अवेयरनेस एक्टिविटीज सो नेक्स्ट टाइम इफ यू सजेस्ट यू कैन सजेस्ट ऑल्सो कि हमें ये 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 चीजें चाहिए तो वो कंटेंट लेके मैं आ सकती हूँ आपके पास Yes. Uh, okay. They can uh, always uh, ring me or text me what subject they want, and uh, I would say next time it would be um, uh, our diet. Diet is uh, very very important. Uh, how to make juices for different illnesses. So I think that would be a very very interesting uh, next topic. I would love to do that. Okay. Diet is our next topic. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Hope uh, everybody really enjoyed, and uh, you have provided very very good information, which I think everybody will uh, apply and um, practice, especially when the the postures are not correct. And uh, anybody would like to um, take more information. Uh, Dr. Disha has given the number. If you still haven't got it, just text me, and I will uh, uh, just okay. uh, send it to you. Yeah, so, and that was nice. Thank you very much for today's uh, uh, session, and thank you, Tejas, for uh, helping behind the screen. So lovely, everybody, to see you and meet you. 